Swap up out to my little people. I'm back. And we're back with a new game. And you might be thinking, like, why the fuck is Forger not today uploaded? Um, because I do not like Forger. It's it's a game I do not like playing, and it's it gave me views, but it's not something I could record very properly and could do some fun things in. Except for the games that I'm going to play now, Surviving Mars is very cool. I like it. It's a city building game. I can do whatever I want to. And what the golf is also a game I really like because it's just so goofy and s stuff like that. And I just want to do the th things I like on this channel, not the things that get me views. So if someone tells me something that I need to do just because other people play it, like RL Craft, I've thought about it, but I don't like that kind of mod pack, and I don't want to play something that I'm not happy with, and I want to put videos out there that I'm happy with. And maybe there are not a lot of people that watch my videos, but the, vi the people that do watch my videos, I want to give them the real experience and not the fake ass experience like, I play this game, I love it, and then I just do nothing the entire video just because I have no, I don't have fun playing it. So I hope you, yeah, I don't even care if you agree with my choices, but I won't be playing Forge anymore, I will be playing Surviving Mars, and what the golf and if you have any other games that you want me to check out before I will do it maybe there's some uh, some game in there that I just like and want to play because I do want to upload more videos and I don't know which day I don't know when I don't know what so it would be really helpful if you wanted to help me out but you came here for a video and you get one here's the video And the old intro is back. I sped up my intro and that's not something I want because that's worse. I don't know what I'm talking about, but let's just go into the video. Surviving Mars, that's um, a game that's been out for a long time, I think. But now it was free on Epic Games, so I thought, why not just play it? This is Surviving Mars. It is a building game where you try to survive on Mars using drones, flying stuff, making domes, humans, research, stuff like that. So, the best way to show you how this game works is just to play it. Okay, this is the standard things that they did. They give you six drones and an RC Explorer. The RC Explorer is an explorer that will explore stuff for you and will get you some resources and extra stuff that you normally couldn't get with the drones. They have the polymers, machine parts, electronics and orbital probes. Those things are hard to find or make or get at that point. So you need that to have that uh, on the ship and they have the concrete metals and food But the concrete the metals and the food can you can make on the planet itself And the RC transport that transports like resources and stuff But we can or get another rocket for that or we can refill this rocket and send it back or we can make them and The commander is like an extension of the, where the drones can go because the drones have an area where they can work in if the area is too small, then you cannot go there. Um, and prefab buildings. We have four. Okay, but yeah, you get that. So if I do this, I can get something else. But I think the explorer is nice to have. The transport we don't really need because the drones can do that too. But the transport is like a bigger way of doing that. Um, Victor. We call this... This is space rocket number one. We call this panic attack. Panic attack, nice. Panic attack number one. Of course. Panic attack number one. Let's go. Let's get a panic attack. Oh, select the landing spot. I don't know. Oh, okay. What is all this? I don't know. Uh, metals, concrete, water. This is good. Uh, meteors. Why are there... There are meteors? This one or this one? I think this one. Let's just do it. Let's go. I don't know what I just picked. I just picked anything that looked too good for me. Welcome to Mars. Oh, hey. Thank you. So, uh, destinate a landing spot. So, oh, this one is already scanned and there's two resources there. So, I think these, this one I will put right over. I can rotate this one. So, rotate, rotate, and place. There's my rocket. Nice, 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 right next to that thing. Okay. Select. A thing to scan uh, buildable area 27% 38 71% 
and then I will do these two next because you can queue them and then they explore and then you get resources and stuff like that okay is it telling me what to do while I already did this oh no okay uh, let's see uh, orbital probes Oh yeah, and that's for like instant scanning of an area, and I don't need that because I already have resources over here. Uh, this is the speed I can speed it up with these buttons, but I don't need to yet. Uh, let's go and build the first thing we need, and that's power. Because without power, you cannot do anything. And these you get for free, I think. And then we need to have power cables running like. Let's do like so. Some power cables. And then... Oh no, that's the wrong button. We need to have the drone hub. Because the drone hub is the place where the drones um, can go. Can stay and stuff like that. So we put the drone hub over there. But it's connected. It must be connected to a power consumer. Yeah, okay. But that one is coming on... Ah, wrong button. But that one is coming. The power consumer. I think we have some extra stuff too. Yeah, we have the fuel refinery. But I think the fuel refinery need to place in... Oh yeah, moist vapor. Um, okay, and rotate this one. Um, you see those blue things on the side? That means that's the spots where uh, cables can get connected. Uh, not cables, pipes. And pipes you need to have for if you want to make fuel. You need to have those pipes connecting to each other, otherwise you cannot transfer like the water to the fuel generator, so you cannot make any fuel. So that's not something you want. And then you take the pipe, and then you just do this, and this. And then, I think, when this one is done, this one will be built, and then everything will be Gucci. And then I think... Um, okay, we have this explorer. Let's send him over here. I don't think... I think he can do that. Okay, let's speed it up once. Building's not working. Because they need more power. And this one... Oh yeah, piping that's being built now. Okay, I need to have research. Because research I did not really do yet. But research you do to get some extra stuff. Okay, let's see. I think we will do this one. Then we need to be the salvage one. Then we need to have some space in the rocket. I'm just clicking some things that I think are good. Um, and then we do transport automation. Explorer and then transport. Okay, let's go. Okay, we need water and that's where we need power. But we can make power over here with solar panels. Solar panels are like the easy way to get power. And they cost resources, but the resources are right over here, so we can use those, or we can use wind turbines. But then we need to refine. Uh, we need uh, to have uh, what is it? Machine parts, and we can't make them yet. So I think this is our best bet, and I want to place them in the most efficient way possible. So up, down, up, down. So, let's play 3, because I think that's enough. We have minus 3 power and minus 1 water, but the, but the water will be made by this one. And then I think it will be 1 to 1, so we have 0. But then I will make this one. This is where you make them, um, when they will run. And this one will not run at night. And this will also not run at night, because otherwise they use the power we don't have... Because we need to have this one powered up. And if this one isn't powered up, then we don't... Then the drones won't work. And then we have nothing for the few anyway. We need this concrete collector. And we will place that as useful over it as we can. Boom. That one will now create concrete for us that we can use. We need to store that concrete somewhere, and we can store that, where is it, here, in depots, and those depots are, like, for specific things. So now I did one specifically for, 
for concrete and I will also do one specifically for metals let's see and then bigger one right next to it so so we have our dumping site over there where all the resources we cannot use anyway will be stored and then we can your attention is required okay gain a supply pod with 10 drones and 60 polymers um, reveal the rest of the amplification text and cost 20% less okay oh, okay I think we researched something yeah tech ex uh, amplification okay um, Supply pod ten drones and sixty polymers. I think I want that. Yes, because then we have more drones we can use. Because now we only have ten, and then we have twenty. Okay, now to make this one work, we need to power it up. So we pay, take this cable, place it over here, place it over here. The thing with power in this game is when the cable is just next to the building, it will create like this little line to it, and then it's powered. So I don't need to completely put it in. To the building see this little line is created and now it works and now this one will be mining concrete for me what is this vega oh yeah that's the that's the pod i just got land right next to this one because this one will be filled up with fuel and when it's refueled i can set it up and then i get a free i get some free resources back when they are blinking red they don't have like an owner anymore so or I can do it manually if they are too far away and select them to this drone hub or the drones themselves go to the other drones and collect them this one I can salvage and this is polymers which I need to store the place where I can store those because I don't want to have for every one of those I want to have it because I don't have a lot of it so I just place a universal depot right next to here Ooh, we found an anomaly what the anomaly can do Stu I want to explain this explorer robot I can scan this anomaly if that explorer robot scans the anomaly I get some something I don't know if it's resources I don't know if it's tech I don't know exactly what it is but it will give me something I need something helpful at least and I don't know how yeah this is how long it takes not that long but it differentiates which anomaly you're researching I want to place a water tower right next to here Wow anomaly analyze I gained 1000 research points decomposing protocol I researched that I and I got a milestone and an achievement. This one, I don't want you to die out, so you will just ride back home. Because I think I, uh, they need to recharge. And for that, I have over here, I have a recharging station. Where is it? Recharge station. And we place that right next to this. There's That's the place where robots can recharge. As we can see, this area is almost done scanning, and the first anomaly we found was found by the research, the explorer robot itself. But if some resources or anomalies are in this area, we find them, like this. Okay, let's go, and then we can take this one and go right to here, and then you see all these rocks appeared as well, so we get more research that the drones can pick up. If we deselect this robot and we select this one, this is the area where the drones can roam freely and get resources. But after this, we need to place another drone hub and another drone hub so we get another one of those areas, like this one, where drones can go through. If the drone hub areas overlap, then the drones can go th to each other, do the other drone hubs. They're still connected to one drone hub. Research. Boom. Okay. Uh, we finished two research. This one, we can upgrade our moist vapor vaporator and stuff like that. Um, Moxie upgrade. Moxie is for the oxygen. And the oxygen we need for something very cool. We will do next episode. But we will do that. And require less fuel. We need that. And let's do an extractor upgrade. Because we need that as well. Whenever we find rare resource deposits. Anomaly analyzed. View message. Concentrate effort on gathering as mass as many samples as possible, so we get 1,000 research sample. Focus on 
geochemical anal analysis of the most sulfide rich sample, reduce the cut of engineering tax by 10%. If you look at our our research, we don't have a lot of research, and research we need to go further into the game. But this is only our first area discovered, so we could get the research points and immediately like go forward with that. Or we could do this one, which will help us on the long run. And I think this will be a very bad like choice, but I will choose this one, because I like to plan for the future. I don't know what this is. That's just... Uh, boost research production when in radius of a dome or outside research facility. Oh, this is just a research site. What will, what will increase the, yeah, the research time and stuff from the dome and the other research facilities I can make. Um, why is this one not connected? I think I need to place this one here and boom. No. I place one other. Yeah, nice. Now it's connected to this one. So this one will collect water. This one we can upgrade, which we need two polymer for. But that doesn't matter because we have we have 70 polymer. I will place another universal storage right over here and right over here because apparently we need more storage. I think we did good for now. We have power, we have water, we have fuel. This one is almost fully, f uh, almost half fueled. We have concrete. The only thing we need is rich me rare metals, which we can get after researching some areas, and food, which we can make after making the thing we want to make next episode. So this is the little beginning of our very big civilization that will be coming up. I hope you liked it. Um, uh, next episode we're going to do something very fun. It involves humans and cool oxygen s uh, generation and stuff. We're now just researching and whenever we research some extra things we can do some more things. Uh, we need to have more areas um, scanned before we can do some extra um, researching and exploring. So if you liked this episode of Surviving Mars, then please consider subscribing, liking, doing anything you can to support me in any way, shape or form you think of. Then write in the comments what you think you want me to do in this game. Write some suggestions, write something you didn't like I did this episode. Write anything and I will read it and I will see what I think of it. And then I will see you in the next episode of Surviving Mars. Or What the Golf or Forager. It doesn't matter. I will see you there. Bye bye.